All right, guys, now we're going to look at uh, Sandra Perkovich, uh, women's discus thrower. Um, in recent years, has been the most dominant women's discus thrower in the world, um, throwing over 70 meters, over, over, yeah, over 70 meters um, many, many, many times. And I've actually never uh, looked at Sandra's technique carefully. I do know that just in passing when I see her videos, there are things that look off to me and a little bit wild. But one reason I bring that up is this is where women's discus can be slightly different than men's discus. And what I mean is, of course, the technique is the same, but because the discus is so much lighter, you can get away with certain things uh, with like body positions and still have tension with the discus uh, just because of how light it is and then how strong um, you can be. So for like Sandra, for example, I don't know her weightlifting numbers other than I know she is wildly strong. And again, that is a theme um, across all of these professional throwers is um, wildly strong uh, lifting numbers, unbelievable lifting numbers, world-class lifting numbers. And so one thing you can take from that is whether you're male or female, um, if you want to throw really far, then you need to be really strong, and that's okay. Now, for strength, for example, um, I am all about being as strong as you can, but but take that slow. Take it year by year by year. There's no rush there. Uh, let the body develop. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to dive into her technique and see what she does that enables her to throw so far uh, so consistently. Boom. Incredible. Let's watch that again. Okay. Let's go to, let's go back a second and look at her, her power position, right? So look here. See when this left foot makes contact, look where her shoulder is compared to her hip. So like, She's doing that correctly. The, all this whole right leg is very loaded. Her hip is underneath her. You can see that her posture is good, like it's straight up and down, and that hip is underneath her. But then look what she has compared to the Gerd Kanner. Her arm, and this is partly because she's a female, females tend to be more flexible than, than guys. Not only is her shoulder behind her hip, but her arm is wrapped up even more, which which is incredible. And I feel like that is the single biggest reason that she throws as far as she does, is that she gets to the power position right here uh, in a good way, in a good posture, with good strength, and she has that additional whip with the discus, where compared, again, to the guy's technique, that I would say is un unlikely. Um, so let's let's go back a little bit and see how she sets things up. So some of the things that I, I talk about are turning the foot in the back, keeping your knees wide, having good posture, and watching this left arm. So let's just kind of take note and see what she does. So <laughs> it's so it's so funny. Um, let, let me go back here. So I feel like technically she's doing a lot of things wrong. Now let me preface that. She throws far, and I am not taking anything away from that. Um, she's a better discus thrower than me, right? She's a performer. Um, but when it comes to technical proficiency, I do see some, some errors. And what I see is this arm and shoulder gets past the hip. You can see this right foot turns, and this whole right side drags in. I feel like that is um, generally not something you want to do. Let's see how she sprints into the middle. All right, there it is. There it is. So she's up on the toe on a strong right leg, and this left foot is next to her right foot. So even though there were things that I was critiquing from back here, how she was able to launch herself off the ground and hit this uh, foot position there. So that proves that she sprinted towards the middle really good. 
All right, so now let's look at this this middle position. Um, um, not super impressed with this left arm, right? So she's in this really tucked position. Now let me let me pre uh, preface this: she may be doing all of these things on purpose, right? So there are a, a, a couple different ways to approach discus technique. Um, clearly, she is successful. I, I want to just keep reiterating that. Um, so this is something she may be doing, uh, but this is not what I teach. And I would argue if she were to execute cleaner technique, she would throw even farther. Um, I'm not knocking her at all, um, but but that's that's my opinion. Um, so anyways, let's let's keep going there. Again, so right now this is where so coming off of the left foot landing on the right foot. This is where she's really generating her hip, her shoulder and hip tension. And then this is where she's letting her arm get back farther and farther. So as she lands here, you can see the discus is way back there. I would say that's what she is trying to do. So shoulders somewhere over here, hip is here. So her hips in front, arm is back. And she just really cranks that, holds that great tension all the way until she can plant this foot. And then as she goes and strikes, you can see that this whole right side is very engaged and it's very strong. It completes the turn and then her arm fires through. Boom. Again, kind of like Gerd Kanner, an incredibly strong block off of an incredibly fast and powerful turn on the right and then she completely uses all of that tension she gathered with her shoulder and hip. So what are what's something we can learn from Sandra as we throw? One is is this position, right? Everybody who throws far, we saw in these videos, they're up on her toe and this left foot is next to them. That is paramount. The second is um, she keeps her shoulder behind her hip and then holds that shoulder behind hip all the way until the foot makes contact and then uh, continues to work the ground until that discus leaves her hand. So again, she is a fantastic thrower. I have nothing bad to say, um, but there are some things that I feel like she could do a little bit cleaner, um, but she doesn't need to. She's kicking butt. Very cool.